What's up, guys? I'm here for another video, and today we are doing the Mecha Godzilla 6 inch review. Uh, this is the 6 inch one with Hev. And uh, yeah, and if you see, there's a one inbox and one here. So, uh, no, I'm not selling this or I'm not putting it on display, even though I want to get one on this to display in box. And sorry if there's noise in the background. That that's just the dogs and stuff but uh yeah but anyways uh i'm not gonna sell this so don't go in the comments saying eh, no you're gonna sell it you scumbag no i'm not doing that shit and i don't like doing that shit and uh also I, and i would never do that also um uh, yeah this is but this is for my little cousin this right here that figure here is for my little cousin so, yeah, just want to show you a box uh, view of it. And, uh, yeah. And we're going to go over the actual box, but we're not going to use this for it. We are going to actually use this so we could see better and all that. And we're going to take a look at the figure, see if it's worth the price. And I'm telling you, it is. So, yeah, let's go over this figure and let's start with the box. So, of course, if you're a collector who likes collecting boxes, then, well, it's the same average Godzilla versus Kong box like this. So, it's the exact same one. Like, I mean, you have the lineup of the figures and all that. So, and this is kind of coming off, but, uh, hey. Uh, so, first off, you see Godzilla versus Kong, of course. You can see that on the top. Same with every box. It has the Blockbuster movie, the Battle Damage Reveal, 4 and Plus, Toho Legendary Playmates, Mecha Godzilla with Hev, Warning Choking the Hazard, Monsterverse, Go Aside, Mecha Godzilla with Hev, Monsterverse, and Burning Buildings. There's more Burning Buildings, Godzilla vs. Kong on there, and you can read. Then it says Assembly, Godzilla vs. Kong, Playmates. Shows all that, and if you want to read this, you could just got pause it. Got the barcode on there. It says Playmates Toys. Yeah, and uh, right here you could read that too. It says uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Guys Over Kong has Legendary Toho Playmates Monsterverse. Collect them all. It shows all the figures in the line, and then it shows Hev. So you could read about the Hev if you want. Then you could read about Mechagodzilla right there. Let's read, um, and that says Mechagodzilla have Godzilla vs. Kong. If you want, you can read that too. And then, uh, Battle Damage Reveal. And then we got a sweet picture of Mechagodzilla right there. So that's pretty cool. And that's really it for the box. And, but that's not what we're here for. Again, we're here for the actual figure. So, uh, yeah. Let's go to the figure. Okay, so starting with the Hev, it's green. Instead of the silver one, this one's green. Uh, you could see that they have different, a little different details to them. They're the same piece. They're the same material, same piece. But I like how they changed it. Thank, I like how they changed the piece. So that is pretty cool. You could also, if you get a Godzilla Atomic Breath piece, and I went to Walmart yesterday. I found uh, a lot of uh, the what I found a Godzilla uh, Godzilla with uh, what's his name the Hong Kong Godzilla, and I found Hong Kong Battle Kong, and I found uh, the the Kong with fighter jet. And today I found. Uh, today I actually found Warbat and Mechagodzilla, and I got another Mechagodzilla for my cousin. So, uh, here's some to, uh, Atomic Breath pick. You know, uh, Mechagodzilla's Atomic Breath is supposed to be red. I mean, you see it in the Funko Pop exclusive, but, see, if you look, there's a hole in the top of his mouth. So you could plug that in, like so, and there you go. You have him breathing atomic breath. Yeah. So you know uh, they're gonna make another 
one of these Mecha Godzillas. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, they're gonna make uh, another one of these because I mean, there's even a listing for it. Uh, what Mecha Godzilla with Proton Scream? This one came with the have, so I don't know what they're gonna do with that one though. So yeah, and if you look right here, we're gonna go over this. We got the piece right here with uh with the bow damage and if you look right there you could see there's like missiles or something we don't really know what that is but it looks cool so maybe those are missiles that when uh are exposed they uh shoot out so i don't know what that is but you could put that back on of course i mean you couldn't then what the hell but uh yeah so yeah, there we go, uh, and yeah, again, here's the articulation, so you can move the arms like that, and, uh, yeah, you can move the arms all the way around, you can move the, uh, the one, the mouth all the way closed and open, and you can move the legs out, you can move them around, you can... I don't think you can really get them 360, but you can move them like that. So there's a hinge in the legs, and the feet go all the way around. So, yeah, that is pretty cool. The arms, there is no hinge in these arms, so, yeah, and the hands cannot move, which kind of sucks. Same with the head, it can't move, but the jaw can move. Uh, you could move the tail like that, it's on the ball joint, and then you could tilt it all the way around and move it and yeah it's really it and when you look at the figure you could see there's the red right here there's red right here with the camera focus right there and you could see how all the mechanical parts oh jesus okay and uh you could see uh his red spikes they remind me of 2014 godzilla spikes and, it, and this just reminds me of, like, when you look at the face, it reminds me of a gecko or something. I don't know. But you could get, like, the mechanical parts. There's a bunch of mechanical parts. Uh, uh, the tail, this part does not move. Uh, but you could see a little right there. So, yeah. Uh, this guy does stand pretty well. And he is a really cool piece to uh, have buy all your other Mecha Godzillas or your Godzilla figures. Yeah. Uh, this is really good. So, I guess let's compare them to some other Godzilla figures. So, here is Mecha Godzilla next to the Showa Mecha Godzilla, Bandai Creations, and the Bandai Kiryu figure. Here he is next to an 8-inch Mogira figure. Okay, so here he is next to some more Mechagodzilla figures. Here's a Chibi Mechagodzilla, a Gashapon Mechagodzilla, and whatever the hell that is. Here he is next, here's Mechagodzilla next to Giant Kong and Giant Godzilla. Or Mechagodzilla. And here he is next to his bigger version of himself. Uh, uh a Giant Mechagodzilla. Next to his little brother. And here he is next to every figure in in the first wave and in the second wave. And yes, I finally got the second wave. I went to a Walmart today. I showed you guys. If you look at my previous video, I uh, did a video of me finding them. And uh, yeah, I found every single one. I already, had, uh, I already had him, 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 and him. But now I got the rest. And I also, uh, got those guys, too. The three. And, uh, yeah, I've been, uh, rearranging my shelf. And I also got my brand new TV, so that is great. And, uh, I've been really organizing a bunch of stuff. So, yeah. If you want, I could do, a, a, like, a room tour, tour of, like, my collection and all that. So, maybe that will be coming up pretty soon. But, yeah, this is Old Wave. You got the the Kong and uh pretty sure the next the next figure review will be him. So and then it will be that Godzilla, that Kong, 
that Kong, and then that Kong, and then the other two big ones. Then we'll be done uh, reviewing for these figures. And yeah, I am going to see the movie tomorrow in my on my TV, so that's going to be cool. And I'm going on Saturday to see it in the movie theaters with my aunt. And for a thank you, I got a uh, my little cousin this for his uh for uh for taking me to the theater with for for my aunt inviting me to there so I thought I would do something nice for them. So yeah, and now let's do some Okay, well we're done. So you guys should definitely add Mecha Godzilla to your collection because guess what you're you are going to love this figure so much it's crazy I already like this figure a lot and he is really cool so yeah that's my figure review on him and I hope you liked this video we're back coming soon probably later today all right so I'll see you guys in the next video peace and please comment like and subscribe yeah thank you bye guys.